joined the Marine Corps in 07. I went to boot camp. Then I was went through a school of infantry. And then I was assigned to 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines uh, out of Camp Pendleton. My second tour was to Afghanistan, and that was in 2010. We were going to target a building of interest for us. Uh, it's one building that the locals didn't want to be around. So we had to go investigate it. We had suspected it was an IED making compound. Multiple warnings that an IED was present, and uh, I ended up striking one. Pretty much in instantaneously lost my legs. Um, just barely left anything holding them together. I didn't even realize my arm was injured though. I, I, there was so much pain from the legs that I really didn't assess my situation. My corpsman couldn't give me morphine because I was so far gone that he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to revive me if, if, I, came, if I went under. So for 18 minutes, I, I pleaded with him and you know I kind of did the scenario in my head where it was like bleeding with God, basically, if you're gonna take me, please take me now. Um, if not, can you please numb me up because I'm hurting. I'm here, I survived because I had a great team and, and God kept everyone calm in their hands, really true, and, and I, I was lucky. My body does run a lot hotter because I don't have the area to cool the blood as, as a person with all their appendages. Juan has the air conditioning going on 24-7, so I know this is gonna help him be comfortable. You know, here, I run the air conditioner to stay cool, and that was taking a huge toll, you know, upwards of $600 a month, you know, on my bills, so I'm just sheer blessed that I found Sullivan to help me out, yeah. The day that I found out Sullivan um, was gonna donate to us, you know, this, it meant a lot to us. We knew it was something that we wanted to do, but it just didn't feel we could afford it. So when they said they were gonna donate, it was just like, wow, like there's really no words to describe a company doing that. We heard that his home was being built and we saw that solar could be a solution to help reduce his electric bill. So we were very, very excited to donate solar. So we now have a 9.5 kilowatt, 32 panel system on this house and it's ready, it's ready uh, to gear up. Uh, for one, and, and uh, we couldn't be more excited. Sullivan told me I'm going to be saving over the next 20 years $130,000, and that's just like, well, I, you don't think about it, but that's a lot of money. I mean, that money, you know, is going to go to my future for my kids, college, education. Energy independence is important to me because it just feels like it's something that people fight over. You know, it's one of the things that we go to wars over. Why wouldn't we be willing to switch over to solar? or to switch over anything that's more environmentally friendly when it can help kind of reduce that impact. I'm an artist that recycles, so I believe that that's very important for the world. I think a lot of people need to stop and think like, hey, we need to take care of our environment, you know? And this is the earth that we live in and breathe in. You have to start thinking about your children. You have to start thinking about those that come after you. You can't be selfish and destroy a planet and, and not expect to feel bad about it when you have to tell your kid, well, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't do my part and now you don't have clean water or clean air. War has made me more aware of that issue. What would I say to the guys at Sullivan? I mean, like I said, we had conversations every day. They helped my wife out with the trash cans. They seemed just like my boys. Thank you for um, inviting us to your family. We feel very blessed to have met you guys and have you guys give us this great gift. We can't thank you enough. We really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. They gave us a gift that me and my wife will enjoy for the rest of our lives and that will actually really help us. So I, I don't know if I think is more than enough, but thank you a million times. <laughs>